OK. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, this, this becomes more difficult um, because it's not very as obvious as what the same bases are. But the main important thing I want you guys to understand is we can rewrite, first of all, let's get rid of fractions. So the first thing is 8 to the negative first raised to the x plus 3. Okay. So the first thing I always want to do is get rid of fractions. Now remember, I can apply the power rule to this. When I have an exponent raised to a power, I got to multiply my powers. All right. So let's rewrite this here. All right, so I'm rewriting that as I just multiplied the x plus 3 as negative x um, minus 3, because I multiplied it by negative 1. So the first thing, guys, just like when we're solving equations, you guys remember when we solved the equations at the beginning of the year? If there's something with fractions, the first thing I say is get rid of the fractions. If you're solving something like this, get rid of a fraction. So now we need to be able to say, well, can I rewrite 16 and 8? And um, Unfortunately, yes, even though 68 times 2 gives you 16, you have to use it as an exponent and a power. And 8, if you go through 8, 8 to the first, 8 squared. Well, 8 to the first is 8, and 8 squared is 64. So there's no way I can rewrite 16 as a base 8. So therefore, I look at, well, what else can I rewrite that I can raise to a power to give me 8 and 16? And that answer is 2. So 2 to the first is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the fourth is 16. Oh, right. I said 2 to the fourth. I don't know. I thought you said 2 to no. the third. No, you, you, the other one. Oh. The 2 to the sixth. Yeah, so what I'm saying is you're, you're right. 2 to the fourth is 16, and 2 cubed is 8. So do you guys see how 2 works for both of them? And that's exactly what you need. So this is 2 to the fourth raised to the 2x equals 2 cubed raised to the negative x minus 3. Then you just multiply again your powers. Now you multiply your powers. Can I can I uh, delete out the bases? I just cancel them out. So therefore, I'm left with 8x equals negative 3x minus 9. Is that true? I would add a 3x on both sides. I'd get the x's on the same side. Therefore, I get 11x equals negative 9. Then to solve for x, yep, you're going to have a fraction as an answer, but that's OK. x equals a negative 9 elevenths.